Okay, we've got the gravy. We've got turkey under here, some more turkey. This is uh, ham. Uh, over here is uh, more ham, and then we have the vegetables and the tatijas uh, and rice all the way down. Enough to feed an army. 1,500 they're expecting. Yes, they had 1,100 last year. They're expecting 1,500 this year. The poor, the homeless, the disabled. The number of needy on Guam has grown, and there was some concern leading up to this year's Salvation Army Thanksgiving feast that there might not be enough. But quality distributors and other island businesses came through at the last minute to make the feast a reality. Oh, we got plenty. I think we can feed, uh, like I said, maybe 2,000 people. We were like, uh, we had 27 turkeys, maybe two, two weeks ago, now we had 79, so <laughs> we've got a lot. The annual event has become a tradition, signaling the start of the holiday season, the spirit of giving, and of giving thanks. This is my first time coming down here. Um, I like it, it's nice. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. So happy Thanksgiving for everybody. It's good for me because I'm a disabled person, see? So I, come, I came down here to uh, uh, be with the family, as a, you know, being together with the family. It's about family and friendship and coming together to help those less fortunate and the joy of giving which inspires those who have volunteered this Thanksgiving Day. It gives me a sense of belonging to help other people in need. I'm volunteering because I want to help the ones in need, like make a difference in other people's lives, show that we care.